The recently opened central steel design department at Marinello has been hard at work throughout the previous model year, shaping up the Ferraris of tomorrow. Expectedly not as numerous as we're used to, the all new lineup of Italian prancing horses is stepping onto the territory of electrified powertrains and revised design language that gets inspiration from the past but has a clear vision of the road up ahead. Today we shall explore these beautiful automotive creations, learn about their innovative engineering solutions and performance parameters. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and ring the bell to always get alerted about the upcoming car releases. Let's start the engines! Ferrari SF90 Spider The first Ferrari with a plug is embracing a new topless self in the form of a power-operated hardtop. The roof retracts in 14 seconds and is made from aluminum instead of steel. This allows the Spider to outweigh the Stradale Coupe by just 200 pounds. In other aspects, the models are nearly identical, so the mid-mounted 4-liter twin turbo V8 is still assisted by three electric motors, two in the front axle and one sandwiched between the engine and the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. The full potential of the system reaches 1000 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, has 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds and 211 mph top speed. These numbers make the Ferrari SF90 Spider the fastest and the most powerful open-top Ferrari ever built. Finally, the Spider's 7.9 kWh battery pack provides 16 miles of electric zero-emission range. Ferrari Roma Forget about the latest Ferrari designs and let's journey back to the simpler times of the 1960s. The Roma Grand Tour follows the Nuova Dolce Vita translated as the New Sweet Life approach when the nostalgic yet timeless design is combined with the advanced drivetrain and aerodynamic solutions. Technically based on the Portofino Coupe, the Roma GT gets 70% of all new components. The drivetrain is represented by the award-winning 3.9-liter V8 twin turbo, which is now tuned to deliver 620 horses and 561 pound-feet. It is linked to an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, first introduced on the SF90 Stradale. The car also benefits from a 5-stage Minutino dial with a race mode and the Ferrari's latest side-slip control system. The Roma interior has a 2 plus 2 seating layout, front passengers are cocooned by a sweeping dashboard and the driver faces an all-new 16-inch digital instrument panel. Smash the like button if you consider yourself a true Ferrari fan. We wish you all to own or at least drive one of these someday. Let's proceed! Ferrari Portofino M Labeled M, which stands for Modificata, this 2021 Portofino replaces the previous model, getting its future owners more power, sportier performance and enhanced cabin comfort. The convertible features several precise bodywork tweaks, all of which are aimed at highlighting its athleticism and improving aerodynamics. The front houses a more sculpted bumper with imposing air intakes, while the rear boasts a new diffuser and an exhaust system without the silencers. The latter also gets a gasoline particulate filter that allows the AM to comply with the strictest Euro 6D emission standards. The familiar 3855cc twin turbo V8 now nets 620 horses, 20 more than before. It gets paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox never before used in the Portofino. Other 2021 additions include optional heated and ventilated seats, race driving mode, and advanced driver assists. Ferrari 488 GT Modificata Built specifically for track days and the Ferrari Club Competizione GT events, the new Modificata takes all the best from the 488 GTE and 488 GT3, but ditches those tiresome technical and sporting regulations. As such, the donor 3.9-liter twin turbo V8 gets more aggressive mapping and gains additional 50 ponies, now outputting 700 horsepower. 
like the 488 GTE, the Matificata's entire body, except for the aluminum roof and uprights, is made of carbon fiber. After trimming off a hefty percentage of weight, Ferrari also sculpted the side skirts and air vents for better aerodynamics. In this regard, the pilot can expect nearly 2200 pounds of downforce at 142 mph. Ferrari A12 GTS While one may say that this is simply a convertible version of the A12 Superfast, Ferrari will not agree with this oversimplification. The GTS is the first Spyder from the brands in 50 years to be powered by a front-engine naturally aspirated V12. The mill has a 6.5-liter displacement, nets 800 horses and 530 pound-feet, and somehow it allows the GTS to maintain superfast levels of performance despite being 165 pounds heavier. The model is good for 211 mph and it takes slightly less than 3 seconds to speed to 60. Its hardtop proof is electronically operated under 28 mph, though unfortunately it does eat most of the already limited A12 trunk space. Ferrari Amalogata Plus The custom Amalogata was ordered by one of the brand's European clients, and it took the company two years to build. The model is based on the A12 Superfast, but frankly, the latter has been rebodied so heavily that only the original windscreen and headlights remained untouched. The Amalogata has more sleek and refined lines, classic rounded taillights, and a slightly elongated hood. It also gets a unique Rosso Magma paint with a racing number. Exclusive interior touches include electric blue seats and the so-called crackled paint effect on the metal parts that mimic the iconic GT racers of the 1960s. Its potent 6.5-liter V12 produces 800 horsepower and 530 pound-feet of torque. What do you think about the Ferrari models of 2021? Are you ready for the revolution that the upcoming Peru Sang SUV will bring? Let's talk this over in the comment section. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News if you want to always stay updated on the latest car releases. Explore the entire 2021 lineups playlist by following the links on the screen. And we'll see you soon.